G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this video is the showcase and the announcement of the winners to the November 2017 Challenge of the Month. The theme for this Challenge of the Month was titled Under the Surface, where participants were required to create an illustrated depiction of something along the lines of the iceberg effect, where we see something that is apparent, but there is something either sinister or surprising or humorous that is hidden. I am blown away by the entries to this month. We have had almost 2,000 entries, which, I mean, first of all, is incredibly humbling, and I'm so grateful for everyone who spent their time and effort creating such unique and interesting pieces. So everyone who wants to go check out all of the entries, I've made an online gallery with the link in the description. Go check them out. There's a huge amount of awesome entries. Unfortunately, due to obvious time constraints, I can't showcase all of them in this video, but please know that I saw every single entry and enjoyed each one of them. So thank you for participating. That being said, it's now time for the showcase, which is a bunch of of artworks that I have picked that really stood out to me and made great use of the theme, had some very nice artistic elements to it and some creative execution. First artist showcase piece is by Dread Knight and it's called Dragon Puppet. We have a very Khaleesi-like character inside this dragon in a very stippling effect traditional style piece. I can't actually tell if it's digital or traditional, but judging by the faint texture throughout the outside of the image, I believe it's traditional, which is really impressive. Artist My Name Is So Creative has a piece called Under The Parking Meter which has this imaginary layer underneath the parking meter which sort of explains my suspicions as to why these guys are always so on top of giving parking tickets when someone is one minute over. Jaffrey's Under the Surface entry shows an epic castle floating in the water surrounded by a giant squid octopus thing. Incredible painting. I love the ambience and the scale that's conveyed. Glitch Hops, the demon within shows a really cool and well painted piece with a demon emerging from a character. I really love that concept contrast of the visceral demon on the right and the innocent and attractive character on the left. Angelina Andreas created the surprise birthday cake which if it were given to me would be the most horrific and traumatizing surprise I would have ever receive. Filled with bugs and insects it's disgusting and yet perfect for the theme. It's I need to take a shower after even looking at this piece. Marjorie Arantes created a piece showing an artist at the top of the iceberg who makes it look easy but of course the thing that people don't see is the amount of hard work and effort and enthusiasm and planning that has gone into getting her where she is. Something I'm sure that a lot of us who have entered in and participated in these challenges are aware of how that feels. Stella Morris's piece called S for Superman or Santa shows somewhat fitting as we head into December, Superman emerging from a Santa costume, which I guess explains how he can get around the world overnight and get everything done that he needs to get done. Bia Anime Arts created a depiction of the Stranger Things character showing the upside down under the surface surface of our beloved heroes. I love the fan art depiction of these characters and the aesthetic that they've carried across. And the artist Jay's Under the Surface entry shows an emo looking kid with a mask of happiness surrounded by people laughing and smiling. I really like that warping blur surrounded by them which pulls our focus into the character that we can see is hiding their true self. Carrie Atherton's entry called Bait is really cool. I love that sense of scale and if you just look at the top half of the picture it looks absolutely gorgeous and then of course when when you reveal the under the surface aspect, it's horrifying. I Hodgson's piece Wash Time made me laugh. I love the idea of a little monster with an umbrella under the drains. I'm sorry little monster, you chose a really bad place to stand. Don't know why you don't go somewhere else. Maybe he already had set up his home before the drain was put there and he's just, I don't know really stubborn. Artist Sedated Hippo is hitting the hard subjects here with yours truly and of course what I tend to not show you guys is going on under the desk which is absolutely me with fishnet stockings, rabbit slippers and the, you know, pig. While we're on that theme, here's Snowblind 52's entry of where the real arty party is and again, it's under the desk and involves ladies clothing and sexy legs. Something tells me you guys really want to see my legs more. I'll think about it. And hey, all good things come in threes, am I right? Because Irma's Wart's piece Jazz's Secret shows my true alien form puppeteering the character you know as Jazza. And if you've always wondered how I have the power to be constantly idiotic and goofy and yet still power through and pretend I have some self-respect, it's purely because I'm controlled by an alien. Camelot's piece Under the Surface is really cute and I love the interaction with this character and the bunny and you would almost miss the Under the Surface aspect if you weren't ready to look 
closely enough because just in the bottom left corner you can see those rabbits tearing apart the flesh of a former victim. <laughs> I love how it's just this tiny portion of this overwhelmingly gorgeous piece that really adds that dark undertone, really well pulled off. Rita Wooden Wings created a piece of a character in the top where we can see her surrounded by a mechanical dystopian future who has discovered some plant life which of course under the surface I suppose thematically links to the world that that character has never known and the beautiful nature that perhaps is non-existent in that dystopian world being portrayed. 3DN's piece called Dormant Catastrophe is a really fun under the surface depiction. I love that aesthetic cut in the middle where you can see at the bottom the butler and the maid investigating a strange gluey looking drip which as we can see is coming from a sleeping dragon. Don't wake the dragon! Don't wake the dragon! Moonroot's piece Cthulhu song is really well composed and I love the mix of colours and we can see Cthulhu controlling a puppeteered character singing out I, I suppose is it the, the siren song that it's referring to that the swimmers heading towards? Well you know that'll be fun for them when they realise that they're gonna die. Werewolf Rabbit's entry called What's in the Walls is <laughs> really humorous. I love how we can see on the right a fairly innocent enough looking room of what would appear to be a taxidermy enthusiast's walls. However, behind those walls we see the captive and living creatures. It's kind of creepy and yet whimsical and the painting style is really well pulled off. Louis Tisk created a piece called Down the Drain which shows a colony of thieving goblin-like creatures using magnets to pull our keys and precious things down the drain to build their mountains from. And Broccoli 42's piece Walking on Water depicts Jesus walking on water but actually walking on a whale. Which, let's face it, is pretty much as much of a miracle as walking on water, but conveys a suspicion that I've had for some time, and that is that Jesus is actually Aquaman. I mean, think about it. It's turning water to wine, the whole fishes and fishermen thing, calming the sea. Guys, seriously, Jesus is Aquaman. Hashtag Jesus is Aquaman. And last but not least, Spicy Meat Boy created a piece called Soda Machines in my mind. And you can see in the top, we have the coin collecting goblin. And on the bottom, we have the can dispensing goblin. The composition of this piece is fantastic. The style of the characters is phenomenal. I love the derpy expressions of the people using the vending machine. And overall, just a really fun and unique concept. Fantastic work. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this month's showcase. But that being done, now it's time to move on to the prize categories. Now my challenge of the month competitions are divided into two categories, the open category and the beginner category. The beginner category is something people can opt into if they're very young or new to art. And from that category, I've selected a runner up and winner. And the runner up prize to the beginner category goes to artist Onesies Fiend with a piece called Wishing Well. I love how the under the surface theme is somewhat reversed to being much more positive than the sort of go-to scary or gloomy with a fairy inside the well sending up good luck and wishes and friendship and love to the person on the surface. On top of the theme, the piece is astoundingly well pulled off with a fantastic mix of traditional elements, a lot of detail and a lot of love has obviously gone into this piece, so fantastic work. The winner of the beginner category is artist Zach Doodles with the piece called The Teddy Bears Picnic, which had me laughing the more I looked at this piece. It's an extremely appealing and well pulled off illustration, but then beyond that, the themes and the humour throughout this piece are just constantly giving. It's fantastic. I love the human remains crossed out to be honey, the human stock cubes and human goes here soup. <laughs> and I love how the innocence and happiness is just in this small portion where the boy is being carried off into the cave and the horrors that await him are surrounding the image and yet it's not too freaky or gross to look at. It's just sort of funny and really well pulled off. So fantastic work, Zach. Congratulations to our runner up of the beginner category. You will be receiving an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop, which is my web website where I sell a whole bunch of art, goodies for creativity and inspiration and education from things like my app to my Photoshop brushes, how to books and a video course on animation that goes for 10 hours. Everything is really affordable and has been lovingly crafted by me for you. So go check that out with the link in the card and in the description. And of course, the winner of the beginning category will receive a signed copy of my how to draw book teaching you the stages of the design process that you can apply to your character design so you can create unique and memorable characters time after 
after time. The beginner category winner will also be receiving a Stillman and Burn 5.5 by 8.5 Epsilon series sketchbook and a Wacom Intuos Draw small tablet. This beastly little device is a fantastic entry device for people who want to get into digital art and animation. It's a really affordable product with a fantastic quality build and everything you need to get started today. On top of that, the winner of the beginner category will also receive an item of their choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. So now we move on to the open category finalists and winners. I select a pool of finalists from the open category from which I pick the winner and the runner up and everyone in the pool of finalists will be receiving a free copy of my custom Photoshop brushes. I use these brushes for everything and I handcrafted them for my own personal use and share them with you on the jazzastudios.com shop. From all of my videos where you see me using Photoshop to my products such as my how to draw book and book cover, all of that created with my Photoshop brushes. So if you're interested in that, go check that out with the link in the card and in the description. So without further delay, let's move on to sharing with you the pool of finalists for the open category of the 2017 November challenge of the month. Our first artist in the round of finalists is Bassi Bozak with the piece depicting a character getting approached by bullies and you can see the courageous lion of a shadow from behind him depicting who he truly is under the surface protecting the kids behind him. A beautifully simplistic style and a very charming and well executed concept. Athava Pando's piece called A Chill Down the Wooden Spine shows a character walking through a forest which hides horrible things both under the surface and inside the trees reaching out to grab her. I love the painting style and mix of mystery and detail. Hayden Nicholas's piece called We Are All Stardust is a beautiful rendition of the notion that we all in a way are stardust and all of the parts that make us were at one point forged in a dying star and this artist has depicted that concept in their under the surface piece. I stand as entry called The Beast Within shows a hunter type character in a very epic gothic style mansion with the werewolf version of themselves in the reflections of the mirrors around them. This piece is astoundingly detailed, the mood is sublime, the lighting effects, the overall composition, it's all fantastic and extremely impressive. Lily Hosegood's piece called Tortured Soul shows on the top half the happy hero that we all see on the surface and then below that we can see the reflection or version of them mourning over the things that they have sacrificed to become the hero that they are. And Magenta Girl's entry called Artistic Feelings is a fantastic portrayal of a black and white character with a bursting array of emotions and concepts colourfully exploding through her mind and shown behind her. A beautiful rendition that depicts human potential and the beautiful things that we don't see when we look at someone on the surface or as black and white. So there you have it, the pool of finalists, the open category from which I chose what I will now reveal as the runner up and winner. Really hard to pick as you can see those finalists were absolutely astounding but when it came down to it I do feel that this runner up and winner had just ticked all the boxes and created some stunning work so let's get to it. And this month the runner up winner is a tied place. We have two people who win the runner up prize. The first is Ara Guma with an entry depicting an old couple sitting on the bench in the rain in their later years with in their reflection the sunny past and their young selves bursting through and we can see that obviously this is how they feel and still see themselves after all these years and it's a beautiful and warm really well executed depiction of an under the surface entry bringing to mind the sentiments of up and the aesthetic of Pixar like animation with a beautiful painterly aesthetic and a really nice composition. Tied with this artist in our runner up prize, we have Gavin Winford with a piece called Gone Fishing. I love that translucence of the water and the light reflecting through it, the shadows cast, and the composition of the piece. This looks like it could be on a book cover. The technical execution of this piece is phenomenal, and the use of colors and the way it's all laid out and presented is absolutely astounding. I will take a moment quickly to point out that Garen Winford was the runner-up to the open category in the January challenge of the month. However, enough time has passed and with it not being the first prize, I thought I'd allow it to receive a prize again because I do like to encourage people to continue to enter the challenge of the month and have something to strive and work for. Though in contacting them, we'll figure out how their actual prize will be suited to their circumstances. So that being said, these are the tied winners of the runner-up of the challenge of the month. You'll be receiving a copy of the 21 Draw Illustrators Guidebook Hardcover Special Edition signed by me along with an Epsilon series 9x12 Stillman and Burns sketchbook. On top of that, you will also receive an item of your choosing from the jazzestudios.com shop. And last but not least, we have arrived to the announcement of the winner of 
the challenge of the month. And the winner of the challenge of the month is artist Pavlemi Haljovic with a piece called The Dragon Under the Oak. There is so much about this piece that I can praise, but suffice it to say, the entire composition is incredibly well executed. It's so clean and clear ultra detailed and by the way <laughs> it's entirely traditional this whole piece was drawn on a sketchbook page oh my god it's it is incredible the level of detail and stippling the way they managed to convey the feeling of the dragon being unearthed without it appearing hollow the messages that people can read into or even just the aesthetic alone that people can enjoy and the fact that this is all done just with pen and paper and that tiny touch of red that adds a huge impact and allows us to know where to focus and where the center of the image is. There's just so much about this piece that deserves praise and I'm blown away and so proud that once again that this artist has been able to be another one of these few examples of people that can pull off winning the first prize of the entire challenge of the month with a traditional entry which a lot of people can sometimes be skeptical about thinking that you have to own a digital tablet to win the digital tablet but in reality it comes down to those three things that I say I judge artworks on. The technical execution, the creativity and the ambition of the piece and this piece hits the nail on the head for each of those and is an absolutely incredible piece that is well deserving of the first prize of this month's challenge. Congratulations to our first prize winner. You'll be receiving a medium Wacom Intuos Pro Paper Edition tablet. This thing is an insane tablet. It's the top of the line pad tablet along with the incredible bonus feature of being able to draw with the Wacom ink pen on paper on the tablet and instantaneously create digital versions of your traditional drawings. Along with that, of course, doubling as the top tier Intuos Pro tablet with Pro Pen 2 and over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. This thing is gonna cover all of your artistic and creation needs. And of course, on top of that, you receive an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. The winner of both the open and the beginner category will both receive one year's full supporter status on newgrounds.com, enabling ad-free enjoyment of the website, username changes, secret content, exclusive previews, and more. Check out the link on the screen to become a supporter today. And I want to take a moment to thank all of the sponsors for the Challenge of the Month who are an incredible part of this community along with you providing their awesome products and services which I 100% can vouch for. So go check them out with all of the links in the description. That is it for this month's Challenge of the Month, ladies and gentlemen. One of the biggest challenges of the month ever, let alone this year. So my mind has been blown and my heart has genuinely really been touched. It's been amazing looking through the incredible concepts that you've all come up with. Some people with some really hilarious and very clever entries and some people really exploring their emotions and expressing themselves. It's a beautiful thing and I'm so grateful that you're part of this with me. So thank you. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and being an incredible part of this community and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.